there, everybody. Welcome to Thought Sauna. This is a podcast where we talk about weird laws, odd dreams, and interesting thoughts. I am the lost sixth member of NSYNC, Brett Hanrahan. I am Sam Snake for Arms Risley. <laughs> <laughs> They're literally snakes. <laughs> and I love them. And I pet them. They're good boys. My snakes. You make them pet each other. I'm you professional dog walker Cyan Haskins. <laughs> a real back job. at it with back at it again. A real job that I have. How many? How much? How many jobs have you actually taken? I injured my back on Wednesday. Ah. Uh, so I have been <laughs> unable to walk correctly for the past few days. That sounds fun. Uh, sounds... I'm just now starting to be able to stand up on my own again. <laughs> what it? What happened? I don't know. Was it was it emo night? <laughs> no, it happened in the mall. I was changing a pants. A freak dog walking accident. <laughs> I haven't had a chance to walk any dogs yet because I got the app. I got accepted. I got everything done. Then I fucking hurt myself. <laughs> you should have gone with Cyan back Hurdy Haskins. You were right. That, that would have been a good one too. Yeah. Okay, back start 30. start the podcast over. Yeah, I'm, I'm Cyan... Sign back. My back hurts. Haskins. Woo! And welcome to Thought Sauna. And welcome to Thought Sauna. <laughs> yep. 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 Okay. Sam. Yep. How you doing? You got anything to say? I'm tired. Classes just started back up. Ah, <sighs> that's that's unfortunate. You couldn't you couldn't get that whole week of snow or anything. It's a good thing both no. of us are college graduates. Oh, whoa, you, whoa, whoa. Whoa. We you don't have us. real Bro, jobs. You know we happened. don't have real jobs. <laughs> yeah. You know what fucking happened? Well, there was supposed to be an ice storm like all throughout this like the uh, I think they go- call it the Golden Triangle, like Fort Worth, Dallas, and Denton. Yeah. And it snowed in every county except for Denton County. <laughs> Yonks. <laughs> like if you looked at the radar, there was a pocket. In the there was a hole in the clouds around Denton County, and so it didn't snow here, and so they didn't shut down classes. <laughs> that that sounds that sounds like Jimmy Neutron had something to do with that. It sounds like he really hey guys, didn't want the snow. Hey guys, it's Neutron. Hey Jimmy, Whoa, you're Jimmy. back. Oh my god, ah! I, it's been so long. <laughs> oh I'm my here god. To solve stuff with my brain. Yeah, why don't you give us that classic catchphrase you got? Got a blast! There it is. <laughs> My so Sam, gun. You, you got a I dream a for gun, us? Because I'm in Texas. Mm. <laughs> so Jimmy, in fact, they gave me a gun for simply entering the state border. Yeah, yeah, Jim. Yeah, Jimmy. It's been great talking to you. Could you get Sam back, please? Yeah, I'm gonna go kill Sheen now. Well, don't do oh, that, Jimmy. That's actually. Dark. Hey, don't do that, Jimmy. I do what I want. I got a gun now. Uh, <laughs> oh, fuck. Jimmy, what happened to your witty, like, them. intellect and goofy humor? <laughs> I loved your show, Jimmy. You're goddamn right you do. Uh, he's He's gotten a little, I uh, got a little ego boost there since his show, you know, <laughs> yeah, skyrocketed it like 10 years ago. <laughs> he's washed up. <laughs> he's, okay, he's, Jim, Jimmy's, Jimmy's left my room. Okay, that's great. But that I gives don't us think a, I'll ever truly feel safe again. <laughs> And you shouldn't, uh, which is why you should give us your first dream, so that we can console each other with humor. I don't know how consoling this one is, but uh, <clears throat> this one was submitted to uh, what's the what a uh, Reddit ask where it was. What is the weirdest dream you ever had? And it's by Bart eight six six four. Just like. And he said, I went cliff diving, and ended up hitting. A rock on my way down, but instead of blood, silly string sprayed out of <laughs> sprayed out, and a bunch of people gathered around my dying body to have a dance party. <laughs> Damn, that's real as fuck. That's savage. I that's think, like a real as fuck dream to have. I've had dreams like that where so you die and everyone's party's around you. I think my favorite part about you. this is the username is Bart, and yeah. because of that, I imagine yeah. Bart Simpson doing Yeah, this. me too. Uh, he's just doing one of his zany, zany I, antics. I imagined it was like a humanoid Bart Simpson as well. Mm, you mean that's... Bart Simpson isn't humanoid? I meant like a 
Imagine 3D. Bart Simpson in the real world. That sounds horrifying. Just like, like Bart. Like, 15 artists drew your favorite cartoon characters in real life, and the it, the results will shock you. Yeah, one of those, like, shitty artists. They're not shitty. They're talented. But they do the shitty thing where they're like, oh, I'll take this Pokemon character and make it yeah. real and scary and Just, gross. Yeah. Like, no. Yeah. Like, ride the bandwagon. Like, Pokemon are cute. <laughs> like, uh... Oh man, I don't know why this suddenly popped into my head. I don't know if you've seen the video, but the guy's like, "Everybody knows that's Big Dick B," and he's talking about B drill. <laughs> <laughs> so here's an issue: within the first like ten minutes of every podcast, we bring up dicks, and I think, yeah, why don't why don't we just? <laughs> and we're a kids show, you know, we're for the kids. We were kind of skydiving. We were kind of on this roll, and then we hit a rock, and, and out silly of, string. Out of, yeah, instead of silly string coming out of our heads, B drill's dick came out. Great, and but now we're getting back on it. We we're we're still we're getting back diving. on this B drills dick. D- enough, <laughs> silence, <laughs> cease, cease and desist, Sam. We haven't gotten one of those letters yet, so I think we're in the clear. <laughs> so Bart Simpson fucking cracks his head open, and Silly String comes out, and everyone just loses their goddamn marbles and goes fucking buck wild. Like, these people have never seen Silly Silly String String. before. (laughs) They have never... They don't know what Silly String is. They're just like, whoa! What if the... What if Silly String's been lost for years in this Mad Max-like dystopia, and it's like a valuable resource, and they found out this man bleeds it? I... That's that's reason for a party. I think so, too. When, When Silly String is as sought after... As gold. And gasoline and water. And gasoline and water, I guess. But, like, a little more than that. You know? Silly string. You're right. Silly string is an absolute necessary thing to survive. Yes. I keep my supply, like, locked tight. I have a 48-hour emergency silly string in the back of my car. (laughs) I have a syringe that goes into my veins that just pumps silly string into my blood. 24-7. 24-7. My hormone replacement therapy includes three pills. Spironolactone, estradiol, and compressed silly string. Compressed silly string extract. <laughs> uh, how- Soon I will too. I load, lead I, load, I load a silly string cannon with silly string. S- silly string, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> made, made that connection. Do y'all imagine the silly string like coming out like silly string or it just kind of like just spurting out <laughs> real weak raining. I, I imagine that it would like it's <laughs> being slowly like, ejaculated from this man's body. You didn't you need didn't to use that, to word. Say that wow. word. Wow, Sam, that's such. That's probably the worst word you could have said. Watch your diction, please. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, it ejaculates out of his head. Yeah, at high velocity, just super, like just really high speed. It's everywhere, like, it's, 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 it's everywhere. God, it is just ejaculating so hard yeah again terrible word it's like a geyser it just won't stop coming out that's why these people can party for so long yeah it's like a fountain in the middle of the party everyone has their strawberries that they're putting underneath the silly string yeah and they're just berries well because usually it's like paired with you know chocolate fountains and stuff which is i guess the comparison isn't silly string poisonous to eat well, not in this dystopia. Well, if it's if it's coming out of his body, then Bart should have died a long time before hitting that rock. Yeah. If his blood but was Well, we all know Bart toxin. should have died a long time ago anyways. Oh, with all his, his goofy antics and his little schemes. You got something yep. against Bart Simpson? Yeah. What do you got? What do you got to get? Hey, wait. Wait a second. Do I hear Is that Bart? Is Bart in your room, Sam? <laughs> is that Bart I hear? Sam, is that Bart? Is no, Bart with you? He's dead. No, oh. Bart's right there with you. I could have sworn I heard like an Icaramba just kind of like in the distance over there. I guess I guess Eat it was nothing. Shorts. Eat my shorts. Oh, uh, oh wait, who, what's that? That was what's that? He's dead. Who's there? <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> Fucking stay down! <laughs> oh no, you, he's killing him. Side, we have to go say fart. Welcome to Thoughts on It, a podcast got... where we talk about weird lot. <laughs> My computer just randomly muted itself. 
Uh, yeah, it looks like Sam stole Bart's dead corpse and just brought it back to his house for an unlimited silly string supply. You're He's hogging right. it that all for himself. Like I'm, I'm huffing it right now. You really oh, got it. Yeah. That's that's the best way to get high is just to sniff it, just to snort it. Silly string right up your nostril. That's right. I personally inject because I think it's, you know, a little more sanitary. Gotta, you yeah. Gotta, well, that's why I took the pills. Raw, straight. But shit. also, I'm on medical silly string. It was prescribed by a doctor. Yeah, it's not legal in most states, actually. It's only medically legal here, but not recreationally. Yeah. So y'all should. I, I have a prescription, so I'm good. But y'all shouldn't be talking about it on the podcast because y'all can get arrested. It's, it's pretty dangerous. Sam is actually a silly string dealer. You don't. You don't. Exactly. Oh well, man, Bart killed him. <laughs> <laughs> he choked on the silly string that he was huffing. <laughs> and he's dead. Oh, man. Crazy, oh, right? Oh, man. Why, mo, shinderu. Speaking of death, there's a lot of death in this episode. Oh, yeah. But, you pick uh, a, you... I, I do have Welcome a, I do to have a thought. Welcome to our Grimdark episode. I do have a thought. Uh, this one comes from iRazor8 on Reddit. And he simply states, Dying on April Fool's Day must be the most inconvenient death you can have. I mean, yeah. and I think we can paint a million scenarios based off of this. Yeah, and the goofier the death is, the the more people yeah. just aren't gonna believe it. it like and I, if you have the if you have a death where you fall off a cliff and bash your head and silly string comes out, <laughs> people are gonna believe that like haha April Fools. Like, but no, oh, you're that's dead. So goofy. But Bart's dead. You're actually okay. 127 hours. I but mean, the ultimate April rock. Fool's death. Is getting crushed by a piano. The true classic Looney Tunes. <laughs> the vintage uh, OG original. Amazing. Man, getting crushed by a piano, slipping on a banana peel. Maybe you like maybe you step on a rake and it smacks you in the face. And then you just die instantly. TNT. The common TNT fiasco. Yeah. <laughs> For a second I thought you meant like TMNT. Yep. Like T the teen teenage mutant ninja turtles come and just beat you up and kill you that's happened before for silly... oh yeah to me oh i'm a survivor for of, your silly string of tmnt assault <laughs> tmnt related assault is a very common issue here they took my silly string <laughs> no it's okay i'm insured so i was able to get it back okay i All cannot right, stress good. enough that my doctor gives me silly string <laughs> <laughs> this is medicinal silly string <laughs> i don't want to get arrested I mean, there are worse medical things like medical cannibalism. What? It, what? Well, that's a weird thought. Huh? This one comes from uh, Samuel Risley on Reddit. <laughs> what if there is medical cannibalism? No, there actually was. Ah, uh, what? Are you talking like back in the like 1400s, dude? I'm talking like medieval era. The reason we like no, I'm talking 2018. Are... Oh no, I'm talking I medical. Mean, there are probably lore. still people who believe this, but like. Obviously, yeah. the the idea that, like, drinking blood is the key to eternal youth came from somewhere, and it's medical cannibalism. People used to eat mummies. People oh, currently dang. eat each other. So let's talk about this medical vor that's going on right here, right now, I 2018. you were going to get there, and I didn't like it, and there was nothing I could do to stop you. There was nothing I I have to silence you for good. <laughs> oh, no. It's a gun. I got a gun. Boom. Oh, there's silly string everywhere. Oh no, science dead. Now uh, eat her. <laughs> I must consume you, the silly string. You must string. consume her. I must take your silly string powers. So April Fool's what was Day. The, what was the original show? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, April it's Fool's April Day. Fool's Day. Doing a lot of things on April Fool's Day is pretty inconvenient. Any accomplishment, really, or tragedy, uh, it's a pretty bad day for. I cured cancer! Oh, shit, I can't come out with this news today. I have to wait for a, the day after. But if I don't do it today, Bart Simpson will come and kill me. Yep. Yeah, it's that I classic can't release, scenario. I can't release the cure for cancer today. Otherwise, people will think it's a lie. Mostly because the, the government has already cured cancer, and they're just hiding it because there's no profit in it right now. Welcome to our political talk show, where we discuss Welcome laws. back to Conspiracy Theorist Sam. The cure friends. for con the cure for cancer exists already, and the government's just fucking hiding it from us. Yeah, 
It's silly string. We are we already know it's silly string capsules. Silly string can cure all, honestly. It can cure, cure all wounds. It's like the it's the everything drug. It's the everything drug. Um Silly String is like the Paladin's version of Lay on Hands. That's a great reference to make to Brett and me. Which one? I haven't played D&D in so long, dude. Which one is that? Lay is on that Hands the one? is the, like, basic thing where a paladin can simply touch a person and heal them. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Sick. Sick. Nice. Nice. We need more D&D topics. That's what this play. This is this podcast is missing. This so I'm going to be taking over as host for this episode now. Science choking me. <laughs> you should have killed me better. <laughs> killed you. You should have consumed my dead body when you had the chance. I ran out of time. Oh my well, fool. Shinderu. Am I Ome Wamo Shinderu? Uh-huh. You uh-huh. already know that you're already Ome Wamo dead Shinderu. <laughs> How long is that? I don't know how long that meme just keeps sticking around. Forever and for, to the well, end of it'll, time. It'll never Shinderu, if you ask me. <laughs> it will never dead. <laughs> don't you worry about it. <laughs> it will never Omewa. Omewa. I can't say it. We've been saying no. pure nonsense for like six minutes. Yeah, this... Yeah. I'm going to say... I'm going to say let's move on... Uh, to my law. Okay. So okay. we'll cut it early. Yeah. And if, you know, if we need time for something else, we'll just do something else. Uh, this one. Hmm. I guess this one could be linked to death also. This is a very uplifting episode. This comes from Dumb Laws. Death is inevitable. In Florida, a special law prohibits unmarried woman from parachuting on Sunday, or she shall risk arrest, fine, and or jailing. Arrest and jailing aren't the same thing? Yeah, that that's kind of... I thought they were just kind of interchangeable. Yeah. Like, things. But You might get arrested and or go to jail. Like, oh, you... Uh, oh. Okay, so I'm not... You're not just going to cuff me to this pole... And I'm just gonna stay here. That's probably a rest. I'm just, I'm just like thinking, like, how do they police that? There's no police in the sky. Yeah, there's no, there's no sky police until now. 2018. 2018 so is like the, the year it's of like sky the, police. It's like the expansion pack for Sky Mall. <laughs> yeah. yeah the mall in the sky they now have security guards if you if you're on an airplane and you see someone uh specifically an unmarried woman parachuting on sunday outside your airplane you can you can get a special pamphlet to call the sky police yeah there's like binoculars <laughs> in every in every airplane seat to look out and see if there's a wedding ring on that hand yeah and yeah. if not and it's a sunday take the shot <laughs> <laughs> take the shot kill her She's too powerful. A single woman here shooting on Sunday. <laughs> that I'm... Oh. <laughs> There's it's just so specific is why I love it so much. <laughs> there's there's so many variables that are unanswered with this. That I Also, why is that illegal? Like what 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 harm is coming from? Yeah. That? Yeah. It's it maybe I mean, without a license, that's the easy answer. Sure. But I want to believe it's specifically because she's unmarried and it's on Sunday. Yeah. And specifically parachuting. Like, what does a spouse have to do with your ability to parachute? Maybe maybe your spouse has to be a part of the air police. So that it's, so that it's like, cool, like... Y'all, don't worry. She's 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 down. She's with me. Don't worry. We good. She's with me. <laughs> but just, what if a like, I could understand that like, someone takes off their wedding ring when they go skydiving. Mm. So like, what Take if you jump and you're not wearing your wedding ring because you took it off because you want to keep it safe? 
and the police catch you, and they're like, you're unmarried, and you're like, no, I was falsely accused. <laughs> and Well, then you must go to court and show your wedding, your marriage documents, and... No. No, you're just fucked? I mean, it, it says, you know, risk arrest, fine, and jailing. It doesn't say risk, you know, fair trial, and then arrest, <laughs> jailing. And fine. <laughs> You're right. You, you just yeah. fucking straight to jail. This is this is the law in California with absolutely no court, you know, uh, coming into it. This is just straight up. Someone someone has been hurt. Someone has been hurt. The lawmaker. Why is this person unmarried? Because she dumped him. Oh. And what does she love to do on Sundays? She always she goes parachuting. parachuting. She always does it on Sunday. Oh my God. That's her day off work. She hooked up with Florida lawmaker Steven. And, and, and they were going so well. You know, everything was going great. But then she just dumped him well, out of the blue and he wanted revenge. She broke his heart. Broke his heart. Sam, how you doing? You've been a little quiet. I'm just... I'm trying a, to process this law, honestly. It's a lot It's a lot to take in. I'm honestly sure. trying to process it, because, like, my mind is consistently like, well, maybe... No. M maybe <laughs> no. Is that how I feel, too? Like, well, no. Just, th just rapid firing scenarios. Yeah, and I just none of none of them even make sense to me. <laughs> nothing about, nothing about this makes sense. Yeah. No, nothing, but that's why we're making sense of it. That's why we're here. That's why we're here. We're here to solve the big questions. <laughs> I don't know why I did that voice. I don't know what that was. Do you think, boy genius Jimmy Neutron could figure it out? You know what? I think he could. Why don't you call him back, Sam? Mm. Wait, is he over there? Did he already leave? Did he already kill Sheen? I think he got involved in a gang war. Oh. That's oh, okay. Rough. Sorry. Well, I guess we'll have Jimmy on next time. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Sorry, guys. We really tried to keep him for the whole episode, but... I think yeah, Jimmy's taking his lumps with the new gang right now. Yeah. <sighs> is Is Carl there? How about Carl? I can only get Carl in for a very brief interview, but let, right. let me call on him. I'm hiding him from Jimmy. I don't want him to get involved in this game that's, more. That's smart. That's very smart. Keep him safe. Hey, hey, Carl. Come on in here. <laughs> it's me, Carl. I recognize that scream anywhere. <laughs> Carl, J Jimmy Neutron. I remember wait, you wait, from the show. What, what do you mean, Carl Jimmy Neutron? Uh, Carl forgot his last name. Weezer. He's in Are you speaking in third right person? <laughs> what ha What did Jimmy do to you? Oh no, he had a lobotomy. <laughs> Jimmy lobotomized Carl. <laughs> we all knew what would happen. We, I saw what happened to Sheen, and I went into witness protection so Jimmy wouldn't find me. You can't run from Jimmy like that. <laughs> Jimmy's got the police right, right on, you know, in the palm of his hand. He owns this city. <laughs> he owns the city. He loves the city. Oh, Jimmy! <laughs> oh, oh no! <laughs> Wait, did Bye, Jimmy Carl. just take Carl? Yeah, Jimmy just took Carl. Right out the window, just, whoop, yeah, it just snatched. It was like, a, he actually, it was interesting. He summoned a portal beneath Carl's feet. And just sucked him down into it, I think. And, like, I caught a very quick glimpse inside the portal before it closed, and it just... It was full of fire and teeth. That makes sense. Because it's Jimmy, and he can do anything. Luckily, it's not a Sunday, though, so Carl should be good on the parachuting. Oh, yeah, yeah, he'll be fine. Uh, Jeez. It's, it's gotten away from us. Can we just do the rest of the episode just Sam doing impressions? That's really what I was trying to do this whole time. Yeah, I think everyone would love to hear that. Sam has entered a state of strange. Of of, of what? S Sam, about, Sam has entered a strange mental state. How about we <laughs> take the rest of this episode to play therapist and make sure Sam's doing okay? <laughs> yeah, just, how, you, how you doing, Sam? 
I just can't get over this fucking. Ugh. This what? You got a cold? This question. I don't know, question, yeah. but law. This, this law. It's perplexing. Like, I've, got to, I've got to look up. I've got to look up more Florida laws to understand where this may have come from. You gotta. If you could look into it, that'd be great. It means that married women can do it on Sundays. It means that single men can do it on Sundays. It. it it's. It's just. It, it's perplexing. And on Sunday, the only thing that happens on Sunday is like church. If you're right? under eighteen, if you're a woman under eighteen, what? And you're what unmarried. Can you still? For? What city is it in? Uh, I don't know. It just said Florida. I'm on dumblaws.com and I cannot find it. It's it's the first page. Oh we, oh we. Come on, everybody! Musical number. Oh we. In the jungle, the mighty jungle lines. There's no, there's no like option to see the full text of the law. It. Maybe it, it only it just, appeared to me. Maybe I was the chosen one. No, I found law. it. I f- no, I found it, but like usually, th- some of them are flagged with like a link that where you can actually read the written law, and not just like this brief summary. <laughs> like no, this one, on this, this one, one's... on like it doesn't mm. have any. And then this, like this other one, uh, uh, this law says one may not con- commit any quote unquote unnatural acts with another person and I can I view the full text one. of the law and the full text of the law says a person who commits an any unnatural or lascivious act with another person commits a misdemeanor of the second degree punishable as provided in S seven 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 five point oh two oh eight two or S seven seven five point oh eight three. A mother's breastfeeding of her baby does not under any circumstances violate this ref- section I, sh- I should hope not that's pretty much as natural yeah. as it gets yeah man <laughs> that's a <laughs> what does it mean by unnatural then i the first thing i assume I is know. sex well but... this one this one is unmarried couples may not commit any quote-unquote lewd acts and live together in the same residence if a man and woman not being married married to each other lewdly and lasciviously they really like that lascivious that word, word. again yeah yeah, like associate it. and cohabit together, or if any man or woman, unmarried or unmarried, engages in open and gross lewdness or and l- lascivious Dirty. behavior, Dirty they shall nasty. be guilty of a misdemeanor on the, of the second degree, punishable as provided in S775.082 or S775.083. Yeah, we didn't need the extensions, but thanks. It's it's that's a Florida's doing a lot of weird stuff over there. What's going on? A lot of a I'm, lot of weird I'm laughing. things are happening. I'm really laughing about this one. The term motor vehicle was revised to exclude swamp buggies, deregulating the primary mode of transportation in the state. <laughs> <laughs> I knew Florida had some swamps, but like <laughs> What's the difference between a swamp buggy and ATV? A swamp bug? like versus like I don't know just a regular Mitsubishi car. Oh my god! It stands predominant. You, uh, Brett Cyan. Yeah. I need you to look up a picture of a swamp buggy. I all right. I mean, I thought I had a good idea of what it was. Well, everyone, you everyone don't, at home, do you it with don't, us. Don't I buggy. promise? Swamp buggy. Okay. Yo, what, what is that? <laughs> wait a second. Wait, what? Where do you? Yo, where does? Wait, how do you drive? This it? is the primary mode of transportation in Florida. Dude, no, no, it's not. That's not real. That can't be. This is like the double decker like... bus for friggin' like you know the swamp lands. Oh my god. This is straight up some like. <laughs> thrown together zombie survivor buggy exactly this that's exactly like, what it this is. is like some this is like some walking dead it next like we're gonna oh my god 
This is these real. are basically just like extended monster trucks. There's no way. There's no way you're gonna like go downtown and more than likely you're gonna see one of these things just waltzing down the street. Pulling into the we drive gotta go to Florida to and see about. like. I think it's the primary mode of transportation for people because it fits so many people. So like most people don't own anything else because they're like, I'll just hitch a ride on a Tonka's swamp buggy next door. Yeah, like how most and people catch in some, you catch know some other nations bugs on the way. Yeah. By the way, Yonks. I hate the term mud bugs so much. Mud bugs. Like crawfish are already unappetizing. Crawfish? Uh oh like the word. And as a food. Okay. Oh, what the fuck second. is wrong with you? Crawfish Hang on. Crawfish are, are good. And then you call them mud bugs? They're like, yeah, I'm gonna eat that mud bug brain. Crawfish I'm like, are oh, so good. You, what the not? fuck are you talking oh my about? God. Sam. We need to go to Louisiana. Okay. Lazy. Louisiana. We're going to Louisiana. Pay you pay for some crawfish and pay. For, for us, for some crawfish, because we don't got that kind of money for crawfish. You think and, I do? And we just we just smack down Sam. Oh, it's so good with some jambalaya. With some fucking butter. With garlic some butter. butter dude. Uh, no, I can't. Ugh. You don't understand. The great thing I love about this podcast is that it tells us so much about each state. And it, and it piques our curiosity to go to each one. And it makes me realize that I no longer have a friend named Sam. Uh, because he doesn't like crawfish. And that's just messed up. So anyway, join me and the one sweaty boy on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> is it sweaty guys, boy? I'll go find my own coalition of people who think the words Moist. mud bug is the most unappetizing name okay, for fucking food. Okay, I know. Mud ever. bug isn't a good word. You're you're completely on the on the nose about mud bug. That's and it not totally good. ruined it. Think about think about Cajun food. You can't look at it. You can't look at it and you can't read it cuz it all sounds and looks and smells too. I'm fine with Cajun food. It's mud bugs that blah, blah, blah. Well, then we need to rebrand crawfish and have a crawfish parade now, don't we? I guess we do. We got to go to that that lovely state where we were all born and raised. What? Huntington. Huntington, California. We're, we, we are actually, we are the Mac McElroys that dig us up. Dang it. They got it. <laughs> they got us. What? Damn it. It's me, Justin McElroy. It's me, Griffin McElroy. See, the thing is, we're nowhere near as funny as the McElroys. That's true. Shut up. It's me, <laughs> Griffin McElroy. We just decided to not be funny for this one. Right, Travis I... McElroy? These are the characters that we created. It's Three. me, Travis McElroy. My voice is slightly deeper than Sam's. I don't know what Travis McElroy you're listening to. <laughs> My brother, <laughs> Travis. <laughs> I, I can't do an impression of Matt Travis. Let me, hey, uh, you know what? I'll give it to you. It kind of goes like it's this. It's me. Hi, I'm it... Travis McElroy. <laughs> Hi, I'm Travis McElroy. Oh, you McElroy. want Justin again? Hi, I'm Justin McElroy. Okay, bye, Travis. Hi, Justin Travis and I have McElroy. to go make a Monster Factory Travis, I love episode. You. Please don't take in this insulting thing we are doing. This is a bad episode. We love all the Macroys. This is a this, real bad episode. This is our, this is our, my brother, my brother and me fanzine. This was a messy. Fanzine. This is by far the episode. worst episode we've recorded. This was a this messy episode. This is a pretty episode. bad one. All right. That's fine. Join me and Slap my sweaty boys. Slap those crayfish right not... on the ass. That's it. Good night. All right. See y'all next week. <laughs> <laughs>